<laughs> hey, welcome to the Get Money channel. This channel is all about increasing our financial education and literacy. And the way we're going to do this is by talking about any and everything that's dealing with money. Planning, spending, saving, investing, and most importantly, controlling that debt. The end result is going to be that we're going to be able to make better financial decisions and also increase our net worth. So come on in, check us out. Come on now. What she said. Hey, thanks for checking out my YouTube channel. My name is Elliot Clark. I go by ET and right off the bat, I'm going to let you guys know I am not a financial advisor, financial advisor, financial planner. What I am is I'm a self-taught investor. I started this back in 1997 Been doing it off and on over the course of all those years. And right now it is grown to a passion of mine. Um, I created this YouTube channel just to share my perspective when it comes to money and all things finance. Um, during the course of all of the videos that I will release, uh, you'll be able to look over my shoulders and see exactly what I do with my finances. All right, from the saving to investing to the planning portion of it, you'll even take a look at, at my credit, how I manage my credit as well. Now, keep in mind that the focus of this this channel is for educational and sharing purposes only. My financial journey, like I said, started back in 1997. And through the course of all those years, I uh, was able to develop uh, my own particular way of uh, looking at finance. I developed something that I call the seven tenets of financial literacy. Tenet number one is planning. All right, just like with any and everything that's, that you do, you got to start with some type of plan. When it comes to finance, you have to have a financial plan. All right, you have to set financial goals because if you don't have any goals, what are you striving for? You're just existing and you don't want to do that. You want to take control of your financial situation. That's where planning comes in and it is so, so very important. All right. Uh, part of planning, one of the things you're going to have to do is you're going to have to get in the habit of, and that's going to be tenant number two, and that is savings. Saving in itself is a habit. Uh, a part of all I earn is mine to keep. That is a saying from the book, The Richest Man in Babylon. I and mean, that's by, what was that? George Clayson. If you haven't read that book, read that book. Great book. All right. And... That's how his financial advice and teaching started, by saying, a part of all I earn is mine to keep. And in that book, you're going to see that he's going to illustrate that, guess what? No matter what, you keep 10% of everything that you own. All right? That's number two, tenant number two. Tenant number three is credit. What I mean by credit? You got to control, you got to be aware, you got to understand your credit. We live in a world today that is, you know, you could, if you get off the credit grid, live in this world without credit, but it's going to be hard. Uh, so credit, you need to be aware of, you need to understand how it works, how to manipulate it yourself to your advantage. Don't be manip manipulated by credit because the, the big companies, that's exactly what they do. And we'll look into and we'll talk all about that. Tenant number four is investing. That is putting your money to work. All right. Your money is an employee. What do you expect of your employees? Why are you in business? That's what your money, that's what you, that's the attitude that you need to have with your money. Get to the point where you're going to put your money to work to start making money. And when that money makes money, you put that money to work to start making money. And you're going to have a snowball effect. And eventually that exponential and compounding growth is going to kick in and, hey, you're 
you're going to be on the easy street. All right. Tenant number five is spending. Okay. It is impossible to live in this world today without spending. You got to spend. You're going to have expenses. You're going to have liabilities. But what I'm going to focus on when it comes to spending is, you know, yes, we got to spend money for our expenses. You know, we're gonna have our we're gonna have our wants, we're gonna have our desires and so forth, and we have to spend money for our, to make sure that we take care of our needs. But also I want us to start focusing on okay, let's how do I spend my money? Or, or should I start spending my money? Yes, you should start spending your money to build assets. Spend your money on assets. Alright, because that's what's gonna help grow your net worth. Alright? Tenant number six is giving guys all right the purpose of all of this is to give get to the point where you can give to others okay when i'm talking about giving i'm talking about giving money as well as time your time in other words you need to be a blessing for others don't get it and be a mr scrooge and, and just hoard all your money no no that's a miserable life okay you're doing this also for yourself, but also for others. Make, make yourself a blessing to others. All right, that's the giving. We'll talk a lot about that. The very last tenet is realistically, we, we already said that the planning is the foundation. Look at, look at tenet number seven, which is tracking. Look at that as the roof, all right? Uh, you've got to track uh, really just about everything that, you, that, that that's involved in your life when it comes to finance all right you need to track and be aware of your credit score you need to stay on top of that all right when you get your those quarterly statements financial statements whether it's a 401k Roth and all this other stuff don't just pitch it look at it understanding realize one thing you need to know whether or not if you're gonna set financial goals, you need to know whether or not you're on target. Did I increase over last month? Did I decrease over last month? And once you ask those questions, the next question is why? You need to understand the why behind what. All right. So uh, tracking. You need to be. You need to have a budget. You need to track your budget. You need to know exactly what your net worth is. Keep track of that. And you need to be consistent when so far as viewing your statements, tracking your credit and understanding and knowing and tracking your net worth. All right. There's a lot that we're going to have to go over through the course of 2021. And I'm so looking forward to that. Uh, and the way we're going to do that is, of course, I'm going to release just a, a wide variety of a series of various videos. They're going to be educational, but also silly to give you an example the very first uh, series of videos that i will release is will be released in uh, weekly videos on the 4th of january 2021 just a couple of weeks from now and uh, that's going to be making money mondays and what i'm going to do with making money mondays the three m's is i'm going to i've already established uh, an e-trade account I'm gonna have twelve thousand dollars in that account, all right? Not invested. Beginning of the year, twelve thousand dollars, and what we're gonna do on a weekly basis is invest that money to generate income. All right. I didn't say to grow it. I said to generate income. I think this is a very, very important skill in order to learn. All right. How can you take? How can you use your your assets to generate income? Yes, we want the the capital appreciation. That's great, but also, guess what? We live off of income. Wouldn't it be great to have an asset that stays there but continues to generate income? Almost just like having rental property. But guess what? You can also do that with anything that you own, whether it's stocks or anything else. And what we're going to do on Making Money Mondays is we're going to do that. You're going to see every week how we're going to generate weekly income. And I'm going to set it up like a game. And I'm going to try to keep it as close to football as I possibly can. But you're going to have to tune in and check it out and see how it works. All right? 
Uh, something else that I'm looking at is going to be Dividend Tuesdays. Uh, that's what uh, you guys will have uh, the opportunity to take a, uh, to, to look inside and see exactly what I'm doing to increase my uh, dividend portfolio because dividend is truly passive income. Oh my goodness. You know what? Passive income is that income that you have that you're going to make. It's going to come in on a regular basis regardless of what you do. All right, but that's Dividend Tuesday. Uh, on Wednesdays, we're going to have that. It's going to be called Double Dutch Wednesday. Now, with Double Dutch Wednesday, what I'm going to do there is I'm going to establish, it's going to be a Robin Hood account, a small account, $1,000. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to double that, that income, that $1,000. We're trying to turn it into $2,000. And you, what you're going to do is you're going to, it's going to be a public account. So you're going to be able to see every trade that I make in the process of doing that. The wins and the losses as well. But the bottom line is overall, I'm looking for those wins because the only way I'm going to be able to double it is through the wins. All right. Then we're going to have, let's talk Thursdays. Thursdays, I'm really just going to concentrate on the, on one of the seven tenants uh, financial literacy then of course on Fridays Fridays is always going to be a recap getting ready for the weekend and so forth all right so uh, thank you for checking us out hopefully you'll stay with us join the family uh, so let's do this let's have some fun together let's dive into this financial world and make some money now don't forget to hit that like subscribe and the uh, notification button so that way you can continue to get these and look at these videos uh, as I produce them all right also if you don't mind share this with your fan your friends your friends your friends and your family so let me close this out by saying this results happen over time not overnight you need to work hard stay consistent be patient and always remember that knowledge is not power guys I used to hear that so much and now when I hear it, I honestly get pissed off when I hear it. Knowledge is not power. If I hear that again, I'm, I'm going to hurt somebody. Knowledge is not power. The application of knowledge is power. Marinate on that for a little bit. Hey, you guys, once again, thank you. Take care, and I'll see you in the other videos. Later.